Hello, welcome back to another episode. Now today is gonna be a short video, but I will, will well, I hope to ha be able to handle the frog to show you it more closely. Now, if you have not seen my setup video and you kind of want a frog, I recommend going to that video. But I'll be going a little bit deeper into into it in this video. Now, actually, what I will be showing you is my dumpy frog again. Uh, well, the misting system actually is like working really well. I'll show you this. Now, this is the day after I just uploaded the video. Now, I'm going to show you the fog thing, the misting thing, whatever you call it. And it actually works really well. As you can see, a lot of fog. The uh, You can't really see, but it... Like, yesterday it turned up to 70%, I mean, it's not really good. Uh, oh. Well, it turned up to 70%, yesterday it's, it lowered a lot, so I had to turn it back on. But it takes like a few minutes for it to, like, really get the fog going. But I'll need, I'll need to have this, like, every morning turned on for a few hours, then I go to school. But before I go to school, I have to turn it off, and then when I get home, I turn it back on. Have oh, I turned on for a few hours, then turn it off before I go to sleep. So it's gonna have to be some sort of that kind of routine. Now you can't really see, but there's the feeding bowl. There's the uh, bark, well, like the soil bark thing, which colors the water. But you know, this color isn't like terrible for him. It's it's okay. It's uh, now here I have like this small climbing bark. Now I have seen him, seen him once here, but that was like he went on there by purpose. But I'm gonna try to focus on the frog. Yep, focus. There he is. Now you can see his face there. Well, he's a little bit green on the uh, camera, but really he's brown. In real life. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to handle him. It's not gonna be that easy. Because he's a jumper. That's certain. No, it's really certain that he is a jumper. I mean, he jumped like half a meter yesterday. It was not the best thing ever, but these are like more of the ones you would want to handle. And these are the best ones that to handle, but it's not recommended to handle them a lot. Now, I gotta really stop handling him, because I have been handling him pretty much, but this is like, hopefully the last time I do it, well, for now. So, yeah. I'm gonna go open the gate. Okay. Here it is, my frog. Now these are pretty nice. This one is actually uh, started to get used to being handled, but I don't want to handle them too much because they actually the skin fats on our body can actually burn their skin if you hold them for too long. So that's just something for you if you want a frog. Now if you want a pet. Uh, or, and if it's the frog you want, uh, I recommend this one. They're really good starter pets. He's been doing good. I'm expecting he is as if he's gonna jump. Oh, yep, he did. Now, gonna have to make sure he doesn't jump a lot. But now he thinks he's actually hiding. When he does this, he thinks he's hiding, he's trying to look like a leaf. He really does think he is. He thinks nobody can see him, but really he's just in the open. And everybody can see him. So, yeah, this is my dumpy frog. So I'm gonna just gonna be holding him here. 
and trying to explain to you a few basic things. Now they do eat mealworms. For those of you who are not really don't want bugs in your house, well, I don't recommend these. I recommend like uh, if you live in America, something like blue tongue skink. Now they can be vegetarians, and you can also get a uh, green iguana if you have the space for him, the room. So yeah, you can make sure you have enough room. I have enough for him at the moment. Okay, he's gonna jump. Ah. No, don't jump. Now, now he's really, he's a big jumper. He really does like to jump. Can I have a hand here in front of him? But yeah, basics, again, the, the good thing to know, so you can keep the bugs in the garage. I keep mine in the garage, because my, I, did have, like I explained last time, I I think I did, I used to have another type of rocks. And actually some worms escaped and turned into uh, beetles. And my sister freaked out because she found some in her room. So I recommend keeping them in a garage or something. So, yep, but they do eat me worms and they can change color. Depending on the lighting in the uh, environment, they're not like chameleons, but... I think they're a little bit like chameleons. So what I actually did is that I called her, it's a she, Camellia, I think it's in English. And yeah, well, she does like to jump as I told like a million times. But you gotta make sure one thing, if you're holding her, you gotta be ready if she's gonna pee, cause they have a projectile pee. So that's something you gotta know. But it's not like they've got venom in it or poison, so you don't need to worry. Okay, I think. Oh, I knew it. No, she's actually on. No, she's. This is gonna get really hard. So here she is. Now, as I told you before, big jumper. So you gotta be ready if you're gonna have a pet that's gonna jump. So. She does want to jump. Now, you gotta have at least 18 by 18 by 18. That's good for a single adult. Now, or at least, well, actually a 12 by 12 by 12. Is that even 12 by 12 by 11 is actually good for a single adult. So, you gotta be ready for these kind of things. Can't see the frog, can you? Here, <laughs> sorry for that. But it's really hard to be watching the camera and the frog at the same time. So, um, yeah, I think I gotta put him back. So, well, yeah, as I told you, the tank, you need to have the humidity at least not below 65, not over 80. So it's about 70, which is actually a really good thing. And try to keep it in the 70s my hu humidity now actually now red eye tree frogs also need that kind of humidity around the 70s so actually I'm planning to have red eye tree frogs with my dumpy frog but first I'm gonna have him to just make sure I don't mess anything up so yeah when I get my red eye tree frogs I know I'm ready but I'm trying to make sure she doesn't jump but it's not hard no, not easy to like contain that. So I. Oh, by the way, um, living plants are not the best for these kinds. Uh, fake plants are actually really good for these. But fake real plants, they actually tend to destroy them by just going onto them and stomping them down to the ground. When I woke up, I woke up by her croaking and actually. The tree was, well, not a tree, but the plant was actually just down. She had knocked it over. So, yeah. That's something for you to think about. But they also need water. So, yeah. I'm going to open up the tank. 
gonna make her. No, this is actually pretty hard, but yeah, I hope you learned something. She has to have something to climb on as well. They're really good climbers. I'm gonna try to take her. So, she's on the glass. Well, almost on the glass. She's going, she's gonna put her in the water. Well, I hope I got to explain a few things if you want your, uh, your own kind of, you want a frog. So I'm just gonna try to move the camera. So, yeah, so there she is. She's going into the feeding bowl, but at the moment there's nothing there. Oh, that reminds me. She is pretty big. And for her size, she actually needs like uh, four mealworms every two or three days. So you gotta make sure you have also the time. Now I recommend feeding them during before you go to sleep because they do hunt during the night. They are they are night dwellers, so they. They're mostly asleep during the day, especially red-eyed tree frogs. Now, when I get my red-eyed tree frogs, I'm gonna try to explain something to you, but at the moment, these this is what I have, and this is what I can explain. So, for, for an adult, uh, four mealworms every two or three days. Places to climb, 18 by 18 by 18, good tank need water, need humidity, the temperature should be well about 26 to 28 celsius and um, Fahrenheit uh, it's about uh, 79 to 81 Fahrenheit so that's hopefully I explained some things to you and yeah so see you guys next time bye